Hi everyone, I'm Ken with Orion Telescopes and Binoculars, and here we're talking about Barlows. Uh, as you can see, there's a lot to choose from, so let me go through each one and kind of give you the, the pros and uh, where they would uh, work best for you. Well, the first thing to decide when you're picking a Barlow is what magnification range you want. Uh, you probably should look at your eyepiece uh, collection now, uh, see where there's some gaps, see what two times your focal lengths would give you versus three times. See if there's any overlap there. There usually is going to be a little bit of overlap that really can't be helped sometimes. Uh, but you'll get a feel for what magnifications would work best. Uh, in general, if you have a, a very short focus, uh, focal length refractor where it's difficult to get any high magnification to begin with, uh, a 3x might help just to boost that power up a little bit more than, uh, than normal. Uh, but if you've got a medium to long focus reflector or a Cassegrain, yeah, probably staying in a two power uh, range would be best, just because you don't want to overdo it, because you can quickly get to too much magnification, uh, and then you're passing what the theoretical limit of your telescope would be. So pick the, the magnification that's going to give you the best range and still stay within the uh, power range of your telescope. All right, so on the left, we've got kind of the, the bread and butter um, uh, Barlow's in our range. The, the Shorty, the Shorty Plus, and the Trimag Barlow. The uh, Shorty is a two element design, and the Shorty Plus is basically the same shape and size but with three elements in the line. Three elements gives you a little bit better color correction, just a little bit better optics in general. Uh, and then we've got a long uh, three element Barlow as well. These guys work best in reflectors where it'll seat all the way down inside the telescope. But if you tried to put that inside a refractor in the diagonal, it's going to stick way up. Uh, so I like the Shorty and Shorty Plus better for castle grains or refractors, anything when you have a uh, diagonal in the path. Then moving on uh, past the three element, we've got a two inch Barlow. Uh, most of these uh, are going to be inch and a quarter for your uh, uh, standard eyepieces. But if you wanted to Barlow a two inch eyepiece, you'll need a two inch uh, Barlow. This is a three element, just like the Shorty Plus, so very nice optics. And then on the right side, we've got the, the premium designs. These are five elements, actually, and they yield the best optical performance of the line. And we have them available in a 3x and a 5x, um, inch and a quarter, and then also in the middle there's a 3x, two inch for uh, Barlowing your two inch eyepieces. Uh, and last, one thing I wanted to mention was another application you can use a Barlow, and that's in lunar or planetary imaging. Uh, a lot of folks have those webcam style cameras, um, and you want to get a, a shot of the rings of Saturn or the cloud belts on Jupiter, and you just need a lot of magnification. Well, Barlows can definitely help get you there. Um, even, if, even if you've got a, a long focus uh, Cassegrain, you can use a 3x or a 5x Barlow to just really pump the power up and then take a video of the planet, stack the resulting images to get the best uh, overall image um, after processing. So Barlow's can work well visually and also for uh, photogra uh, photographic purposes. So thank you very much and clear skies.